own in the world. There are a lot of things happening that we need to take a look at and we need to realize that these things are, um, when people are trying to tell you that these things are going on, it is true, this is fact. In my country, I do not see lines all over the sky and they are not doing this aerosol spraying like they are doing in the Western countries. Um, the British people are uh, ignorant to what is going on and some of them know about it. A lot of the other people fear to, to point it out. And then yet there are many millions of others that do not even look at the sky in the UK. As I walked around London, I realized that not a lot of people take time to actually look at the environment they are in. A lot of the British people have got headphones in their ears, they walk around, they listen to music, they look at the ground, they look in front of them, but not a lot of people look up into the sky. When I was recently in London, I looked up at the sky. I couldn't believe it. When I saw the lines all over the sky, it reminded me of a, a patchwork quilt that my mother once made me with the diamond shapes going across. I mean, no, there are no, I'm telling you now, there are no commercial airlines that will fly in that pattern that will leave a patchwork in the sky. There's just no way that commercial planes, they don't fly like that. I'm sorry, they don't. And I've been in London for many years. I've lived here myself. And I've never seen commercial airlines flying in that pattern at all. And the British people, they don't even look up into the sky. And I saw recently in the Telegraph newspaper, there's, there's a picture of the, that, that day, that day on the 8th of September, the sky was terrible. And there's a picture in the paper and they're trying to make it very normal. But it's not normal. Because condensation that comes out of a plane evaporates. We all know scientifically evaporation evaporates. Vaporize will evaporate. So I want to say to the British people, it's not like this all over the world. And in my country, they don't spread the people like we do like bugs like we do here, like we are cockroaches or ants and they're spraying us to get rid of us. It's time for humanity to open their eyes and realize what is happening. And for the British people themselves, just to be aware that this is not taking place in some parts of the, of the world. They're not doing this, man. They get blue skies. They are not getting all of this. This is to control the weather. This is to control the minds of the British. This is to keep the people asleep so the government can just do what they're doing. And in the, in the meantime, as they are doing what they're doing, they're also, you know, managing to get rid of a few people. They're always telling us the world is overpopulated. And this is a good way to do it. Mass medication. Don't think that this is not happening because you know, British people, do you know they put fluoride in your water? In some parts of this country, you can find out they put fluoride in your water. You know what fluoride is? Fluoride is a substance they used to use. First of all, they used it in Russia many, many years ago. And then uh, more recently, they used it. Hitler used it. And he gave it, to the, he gave it to all of the prisoners to make them more docile and to make them just listen to what they were told and just carry on and sit there like that. So in this country, you've got the chemtrails. You have the fluoride in the water, and also you have the TV, which is also hypnotizing people. You know, because that is why it was made in the first place. It was a propaganda machine to, 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 so they can tell the people what they want the people to know and what they want the people to have in their head. That is why they first made the television, okay? Oh, you need to look into history and you need to find out some of these facts. I feel very sorry for British people. I love to live in this country and British people are lovely people. But they need to wake up a little bit and stop walking around in such a slumber, such a slumber. The other day I was in the park and there was a big X across the sun, right? So unnatural, so no, not normal. If it was a condensation tree, the sun would have melted it because it was so hot that day, right? And my daughter pointed it out to the friend of her friend, and they said, oh, look at that. I've never seen that before. 
they must be doing an advertisement for the X Factor. That is what the person said. They thought it was an advert for the X Factor. I'm not joking. This is real. This is true. So please, British people, take your time when you're walking along. Look up. Do not just look at your feet when you walk. Okay? You don't even make eye contact with people around you, let alone look at this guy. So, take your time and I hope it is all good. And I'd like to wish all the British people a lot of love. Good day. Thank mm -hmm. you.